Hey guys, so I'm going to be trying to show you kind of my design process for my next design. So it'll be kind of like a follow along with me where I'll provide updates about what I'm doing and kind of you'll see how I troubleshoot a design since I've gotten a lot of questions about my design process since a lot of you are interested in possibly designing your own crochet things. So basically my goal is to kind of use this top as a template that I designed uh, a couple months ago. And so when I was making it, I realized that it could be really interesting to use this uh, middle boning detail as well as the cup shape to make a dragonfly top. So I've already gone ahead <laughs> because I'm bad and made half of it. So basically you can see here how uh, it's looking. So this will be the bodice and then these are the wings. And then I am going to do the other side in the exact same way. And then I'll see how it looks. All right, so basically this is what I'm intending my design to sort of look like. Like it's definitely a rough sketch because I just use my finger. I don't have an Apple pencil or anything. So it's a very uh, rudimentary design. So you can see here that I have that cup and also here we can add these in. So I have the two cups and the wings just like that with um, this kind of standing in for the body even though it obviously will be a more prominent color and it doesn't really quite give the visual but it kind of gives the idea so and then i'm just going to try to figure out how to make that kind of like diamond bodice and i might wait on attaching these currently so that i can figure out exactly what the best way to attach a bodice like that would be so i could try to attach it while i work the border of the bottom wing but I think I will just uh, yeah leave this empty as I drew here and just kind of have chains or some kind of straps attaching in the back and tying. I'll update once I make some more progress on it because I'm not quite sure what to do so I think it'll be interesting to see what the next update will be. All right so it's a new day uh it's not the next day, it's actually a couple days later because I didn't actually get to work on this for a little bit. But what I have now is I have one of the tentative um, body panels and I decided I wanted to see how it looked to just have the dragonfly body. And so I've just kind of very sloppily attached it to just kind of get a rough idea since I know I'm going to have to take it apart. But I think it's looking pretty interesting. And like there's some hope that it'll turn out well. But yeah, so basically the idea is that I'm going to need to lengthen this because I think it should be probably at least this long with the body and the body is just going to be connected on the panel if I'm actually attaching the panels to the wings because I'll just work up from the body like basically just chain or not chain but single crochet all the way up and then up here and do the same on the other side so this needs to be longer because I'd like it to kind of just go like this so it'll probably be wider as well, so like this. But I might make the body a little bit shorter because I think this might be a little too long when I'm actually wearing it. So probably to like there, so I'll lengthen this. Like this is 30 stitches right now, like here is 30 stitches. So I'll probably lengthen it by, I don't know, like five stitches or something. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the half double crochet mixed with the texture. Like I really like the idea that the wings are a different texture. Um, so that, like I think it's cool if wings are textured, but I'm not sure how I feel about the kind of like, 
I don't know, ribbed effect mixed with the wings. But I'm gonna go with it for now and we'll see if I make any adjustments. But so far, the adjustment I'm going to make is to lengthen this so that it's longer and wider. All right, so here's another progress update on the dragonfly. So I've basically done a body panel and I've just extended this so that it can tie in the back. And yeah, I tried making various um, pieces for the body, but I decided I like this one the best. So I have this one that's shorter, but I think that since the dragonfly body should be a little longer as I found when I did the dark blue body on its own. So then I tried it to be this length, but I thought that was a little too long when I put it on my body. So I ended up doing 35 stitches total at the start. So yeah, and here also I did um, a decrease every row so that it was going at a different angle, but I decided that I liked it better with the slower angle. So it was less steep. And yeah, so basically I just need to do the other side so that it looks like this. So it can tie in the back and then I need to do, I need to undo all this because I just attached while I was working. And you can actually see here as well, like I did single crochets all around instead of just slip stitches. So I actually think this one looks a lot better or I don't know, a lot better, but marginally better. So I might do something with changing that, but it is a lot easier to be able to slip stitch them together when they're just single crochet, just because I can kind of go wherever I want on the cup and the wing. I'm not limited to just where I made slip stitches. So it takes less forethought basically. <laughs> so yeah. Um, with here, I'm gonna have to undo all this and I also might undo some some of the slip stitches here just because I think it fits a little better when it's shorter here because the cup will curve differently as you go, but I'm not sure if that makes any sense. I'm kind of rambling now, but yeah. So my next step is to just do the other side of the green. So I've just finished both sides of my top. So as you can see, I have the body panels and I've decided to just do long um, ties for the back. And I don't know how that will look, but I've just done it, so we'll see. And now all I have left is really just doing some ties, which I think I'll do in green. That will just come probably from here and here and from here and then also here for the straps and then I need to do the body so I'll probably do the body first by just uh, single crocheting in a dark blue like I had showed with how I just did the body without these panels but now I'm going to actually just single crochet along and go up and then also single crochet along here and then single crochet back down and then slip stitch together. So we'll see how that goes. But this is how it looks so far. All right, so it's a year later and I'm just now filming the final result of the top. So basically life happened and I was looking through my footage and I saw that I never filmed this part. I don't know why, but I never did. And what I ended up doing for the final version was uh, slip stitch all this together for the body of the dragonfly and made a little head as well. But I think that could have been bigger. So I wasn't super happy with the size of that, but I think it was okay. And then I did a lot of straps so just a really long chain for the whole entire back. And you can kind of see, and you would hardly know that I made it a year ago with how I never actually finished um, weaving in all my ends, but I never do. And 
yeah, so I basically have this long strap detail and then all these little straps with just like a single chain that just weaves through all of the edges of the wings. And so I would say that I'm overall pretty happy with how it turned out, but I wish I hadn't done this as the back piece because I think it looks a little strange when it's on, like it's very bulky when it's tied together and mixed with the thin straps, it just looks, I don't know, a little much. So I'd probably redo that and just kind of like end this so that the strappy detail can just kind of go through this as well. So it's just a very thin strapped look in the back. So I'll insert this picture of the back so you can see what I mean. And I did do another version of the dragonfly where I just, I just made um, these little chains to tie in the back and I quite like that look where it's just it all just comes together and ties and so what I actually did was just like take all of these and then tie it so I thought that was kind of a really cool effect how it just all comes together in the center and for this one I did actually make the head bigger because I had that complaint and yeah, I think the colors of this one are really nice, like very dainty looking. So I did film the process of how I made all of this and I saw that footage as well while I was looking through my phone. And I will try to kind of compile that all together into a tutorial. I don't think it's like the best of quality because I've kind of just filmed it during all hours of the day, like whenever I was working on it. So some of the footage is a little bit rough and shaky, but if you're interested in that, definitely let me know and I will try my best to actually get it together because I have all the footage and if you wanna see it, then I'm happy to share it. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. <laughs> and I know it's very delayed that it was supposed to come out last year, but yeah, I got a full-time job and had some issues with migraines where every time I crocheted I just got a headache so everything was a little bit slow but I hope you enjoyed this video and kind of going through the design process from conception to finished product and that it kind of informed you on how it goes and kind of like where I stumble or even what kind of adjustments I make as I go and yeah, also, yeah, during the time between filming the first parts, I got a way taller bed, so this footage is probably going to look a little bit strange compared to that, but anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'm hoping that I'll get some tutorials out finally with the footage that I've already made, so I have a purple basic kind of halter style top that I have all the footage for, and I just need to do a voiceover, and then if you want to see the footage for this also. I just need to do a voiceover so let me know if those are still of interest and yeah have a really nice day and thanks for watching.